traffic has started hitting in. A beautiful stretch of clean patch. 130 kilometers. Still 530. Carrying a good speed. Good morning guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So time right now is 8.06 and we are late. We are we had planned to leave at 4 but we didn't wake up so right now we are leaving so let's go so right now we are exiting hyderabad city it's very late but that's okay now we can't you know complain about that the traffic has started hitting in but it's okay we have to deal with it now just get out of the city and then we are free so we have like officially entered the highway like the toll road has started and oh. okay 2xl6 it's blocking the roads okay, let's go. and this is what we have been waiting for a beautiful stretch of clean patch clean road so we can gain some momentum Try to reach as early as possible. So up till now, how many kilometers are covered? 130 kilometers. 130 kilometers. Still 575 to go. Still 575 to go. That's our Himmi. That's Domi. That's Philly. <laughs> so we have entered Karnataka now. Talangana is way behind. Bye bye Talangana and Hyderabad and now we are on to Karnataka. So plan is to just cross Karnataka and have a tea break and then maybe stop at Solapur or maybe ahead to have lunch. Let's see what has, what is next. But roads are awesome. Maharashtra filled up our tanks and uh, the roads are starting to look like Maharashtra roads there are bottles in between and all that stuff is coming up right now we are seeing it after a long time so kind of shameful that you know we still have roads on national highways but anyways like uh, time is 11.30 right now we are carrying a good speed Let's see what happens now after a series of bad patches like there's some good roads that we have found. Let's see. So Lapur is still I think 50-60 kilometers away. And once we reach there we are planning to have lunch and then straight on continue. Good speed. Right now the time is 12.25. Let's see by when we reach Solapur. Oh just look at that view man. Nice river. So we have had our lunch, we reached here at 1 o'clock in Solapur, now like we are feeling a little bit lazy after lunch but I think that will go in an, like 15-20 minutes. So Khan Chacha is the place to go if anyone wants to have lunch, veg, non-veg food, amazing place, toilets are clean too. Uh, 
Pune is 130 kilometers away from here. So I think it will take around more than hour or so to reach Pune. What do you think? So we are back in Bombay again and uh, a tragic incident happened after the last video you saw. Not not any fatal incident but a very tragic incident with me that happened. So what happened was uh, at around 4.45, 5 ish we reached Pune. So before that we just stopped for having tea, uh, evening tea. So then like once everything was done we just decided to leave and then it started raining. So I put my rain liner on and we waited for 5 to 10 minutes there just so that the rain will stop but it didn't stop. So what we did was we put on the rain liners and then we just left for you know our destination which was our home. Then it started raining heavily. So we just continued and continued and after some time I started feeling very cold inside and I thought that because it's raining I might feel cold. So, but it continued to stay long and we entered Pune around 5.30 and there was like, it was heavily raining plus there was so much of traffic in Pune that we, that it took us so much time and I couldn't find any medical to take any medicine or so. So, I didn't record any of this because it was raining so I put my GoPro in the back and there was like no energy left in me to record a video or even ride but I had to ride my bike back to the, to my home so I had to do it. Anyways, so we left Pune like after like facing traffic for tremendous two hours we were just stuck in there even with our bikes we were stuck in the traffic because it was raining there was like evening peak hour traffic plus there were trucks as well so we just left Pune around 7ish and it was pitch dark afterwards we continued our journey from the old highway Pune Mumbai old highway and the entire way till my home it was raining like heavily raining and I had like proper fever so I couldn't find any medical so I just told Felix that we should just continue we just continued for continued on till Lonala at a very slow pace uh, and the visibility was also not clear so we just kept on going and going and we reached Lonala uh, there we found a medical I just took a pill like Dolo 650 obviously and I just took it on afterwards I waited there for 10-15 minutes came back to my senses and I was like feeling okay to you know continue the ride because there was there wasn't any option there was one option that we could stay in Lonala but we didn't want to extend because the next day we both had our offices so after every after this we, we decided to continue our ride again it was heavily raining so I didn't have any choice but to ride in that heavy rain thankfully I had my rain liner so it kept me a bit warm all thanks to Rhy Rhinox but there, there wasn't any option left you know to stop this ride or any of that and I didn't have any backup I didn't have anything but and suddenly the fever and the cold kicked in in such a way that you know it, it was totally unexpected so we reached Bombay, we reached Panvel around like 9 o'clock because we were riding very slowly we, we were riding very cautiously because I was not feeling well plus it was raining heavily plus there was no visibility because of the heavy rain but anyways we managed to somehow reach Panvel Felix went his way to his house which is in Taloja and I decided to go on forward towards Thane so again Thanks to all the trucks, thanks to all the heavy raining and thanks to all the peak hour traffic it became miserable to reach Thane. So I reached home at around 10.45. I didn't record any of this because I was, I was, my energy was drained like anything and I didn't have any energy left to you know record anything or there wasn't any option anyways due to it as it was raining and I, I didn't want to risk my GoPro in the rain. So. That was the story of how tragic this ride ended in a way. Uh, we were very excited during the whole trip, excited during going to Hyderabad, also I return even if we started out late. But anyways, whatever happens, happens for good. So I reached home at around 10.45. So we started at 8.30, still managed to reach 10, home at 10.45, around 14 hours of riding. If 
if it hadn't been for the traffic and the rain we would have reached it in, reached home in 12 hours but due to that horrible horrible traffic in pune and horrible horrible traffic in mumbai we couldn't get home like we couldn't get home in time so that's how the tragic ride ended we reached home and that was it the next one week viral infection continued and i was like just of the bed i didn't attend office i didn't do anything but anyways that was the story anyways you have hope you have enjoyed this uh short series of hyderabad ride and if you do like please do like comment share and subscribe thank you for watching please do watch the full video if possible thank you guys for watching and bye bye